Hey guys, it's McFool17. I'm wanting to do a quick review here on Heavy Rain for the PlayStation 3 and then just talk a little bit about the game itself. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Heavy Rain is a game that has been dubbed as an interactive drama. Um, the whole goal of the game is to find and catch the origami killer who was responsible for killing uh, several young boys in the last couple of years by drowning them. Uh, due to rainwater and a sewer rate, hence the title. Um, you control four different characters from the father of an abducted child that you're trying to save, a private investigator, a schizophrenic reporter, and an FBI agent. Uh, their stories are all interconnected and are they're all trying to solve the... find out who the origami killer is and save uh, the kidnapped child. Um, the graphics for this game I think are really nice, very fluid animations, everything really looks good. Um, there's just like one thing, some of the facial animations especially when talking just are a little distracting, especially when you have a game like this that emphasizes the movie experience and the storytelling and all that and it relies on the acting so much that it's no more noticeable than it would be elsewhere. And another game, probably, these facial animations would be great, fantastic, but here it's slightly distracting when someone's mouth just doesn't quite look right. Um, this is a game that definitely places its emphasis more on story over gameplay, which I think is an interesting choice because I can't really think of too many other games that really do that. Um, all you use is the face buttons, so your X, square, triangle, circle, um, the right joystick, the uh, R1, R2, L1, L2, and sometimes the six axis motion control. So that's all you'll be using, and it's just a single button press, or you mash it, or you hold it, or it's just a single input, but a string of inputs. Um, to put it simply, it's kind of like a really long quick time event, but that wouldn't really be doing the description of this game justice. Um, that's essentially what it boils down to, but it is more about the story, and that's what counts. But um, There's a few small plot points that are kind of introduced in the beginning that are really just kind of red herrings. They don't really go anywhere, and then they're not really explained, so that's kind of a frustration. But like with any game, there's something that you can nitpick. Overall, I really, really liked this. This is definitely one of my favorite games. And I'm really, really excited to see where Quantic Dream goes from here after uh, Heavy Rain. Um, the action sequences in this game, despite you know only involving a few button presses, it's the most tense I've ever been playing a game. The most into it, the most very well designed characters. You're, you can sympathize with them, you can connect with them. I mean, I thought the game that had me the most tense before this was playing through the first Dead Space, which is true, I was constantly on edge, but this even more so, just really feeling like you have control over how, whether these people live or die, and that's just a fantastic feeling that I don't think has really been emulated elsewhere. So overall, I've really enjoyed this game. Um, it's not for everyone, but if you have a PlayStation 3, Definitely get this, especially since now I got it at GameStop used for 25 bucks, and there it just came in part of the uh, greatest hits. So, and it the greatest hits version, which is coming out, it might already be out, but it, it adds move control, which PlayStation Move I'm assuming would make it probably even more immersive. Uh, I've heard good things about it. So then, new it would only be 30 dollars, but so if you have a PlayStation 3, definitely get this, at least try it. And honestly, I would say this is another reason to buy a PlayStation 3. There has become a point now where there are enough good PlayStation exclusives for you Xbox owners out there to consider investing in a PlayStation 3. Um, I guess I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit also about the... I, this, there was just something about this game that really intrigued me. Um, just this genre that it's kind of created. I know there were adventure games that kind of followed the same formula. Um, on like the PC back in the day and Quant uh, Quantic Dream, they actually made a, a game on the... I know it was on the Xbox One, it might have been on the PlayStation 2. And that game was Indigo Prophecy. I remember playing a demo for that. 
on the Xbox a long time ago. It was uh, they definitely it definitely set the uh, set. It, it definitely was kind of a predecessor to Heavy Rain. Uh, very similar. That one had more of a supernatural uh, tilt to it, and I kind of heard from reviews that by the end it was kind of a messed up, not really making sense story. But uh, this is just a kind of. I feel like Heavy Rain, there's not anything else on the market right now, at least, that is comparable to it. And I feel like uh, it really succeeded on the front that it almost seamlessly blended a movie and a game. Two experiences that I think, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably enjoy. Um, we like going to the movies to be entertained. We like playing video games to be entertained. And if you can merge those two together, I feel like... One, it's nothing to be threatened by. It's not something that's going to replace movies or something that's going to replace video games. But it's something new that could be just as interesting. And um, it was, I just feel like this has a lot of applications. And I really hope that more developers... I mean, because I think Heavy Rain did pretty well. Like, sold like 2 million copies or something. I hope more developers like try to do something like this. Um, because like I know Heavy Rain was in the horror mystery subgenre kind of thing. Um, and it's like having multiple endings, which is something you can't do with a movie necessarily, or even a normal video game. There's a few, but um, that adds to the replayability. And you want to see, you know, well, what happens if you let this character die? You don't let any of them die, etc. But, you know, you wouldn't be just confined to, like, the thriller or mystery genre. You could make a game like Heavy Rain in the horror, more horror genre, in the more uh, drama, sci-fi, fantasy, action, whatever. I just feel like there's almost endless applications for what they've Quantic Dream has set the groundwork for. And just this placing emphasis on story and not some overly convoluted control scheme, not to say that the average video game is overly convoluted for me or maybe you, but to the casual audience. I feel like this really could open new doors as far as casual gamers go. Those people who bought the Wii just for Wii Fit and stuff. I mean, I was playing this the other yet yeah, today, actually, uh, in front of my mom and dad, and they were both really interested in this uh, because, one, it wasn't didn't look too intimidating because all you have to do is, you know, press a couple buttons or two, but, you know, you can still figure it out and feel competent at it. So, like, you're still playing a game, but still more like watching a movie experience. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that, see what you guys think about it. I just, I'm really just kind of in awe of the game right now. I'm already starting a second playthrough, and I'm probably going to play it a third time right after that just to check out different endings. I'm just, it's definitely, I mean, I knew I wanted to play it eventually, and then when I saw that it was only like 25 bucks, I jumped on it. But uh, this is a definitely a game that's now moved up into my favorites of all time. Uh, it's just really something you guys should check out. So, um, so thanks for watching the review kind of thing um i didn't want to get like too much gameplay footage because i wanted to keep it as spoiler free as possible so i figured like trailers that are only showing bits and pieces of the game would be a little bit better but uh anyway so thanks for watching uh please rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time